Alright guys, continuing from our last video somewhat of the uh, challenge block I was working on, I got asked about the pin and pins I do and how exactly I go about making them. So I believe that is what we're going to cover in this video. Now I already have a lot that are, well not really a lot, but I've got quite a few that I've already pre-drilled and I really don't want to crank this uh, thing up here in the room because I don't have any can air at the moment and this stuff makes a mess on this table. But this is generally where I make them at. <laughs> Let's see. Let's make sure we've got the right collet here. No. Alright. Now what I'll usually do is mount this up in here and try to get it as straight as possible. I like that. Don't want it too tight, but definitely want to make sure it's held in there because you don't want anything flying anywhere. But then, let's see here. Well, shit. Ooh. There we go. <coughs> then I'll just take my pen. Here, I mean, this is one that's already. Yeah. If you can see that, that camera real well. This has already been pre-drilled. It's somewhat picking it up. But what I'll do is load this up in here. And I usually take my vice grips and tighten this just a hair more. Just to be on the safe side. I don't want a pin flying out across the damn room. But you want to make sure that that's fairly uh, straight in there. You don't want it crooked at all. Yeah, that actually looks pretty well. But then, after I load my pin up, I'll get my vice grips and, like I said, tighten that down. But depending on what I'm doing, these are the bits I use, the first three here. Depending on what I'm doing is obviously what size I'm using. And for the pin and pins I make, I usually use a nail as the inner pin, and I believe it's an 18 gauge, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure that's right. But either way, for those nails specifically, I use the uh, 364 bit, which is obviously really tiny, but I find that this works the best for them. You have to, uh, if you get it perfectly straight, you'll have to, uh, take and bore it out a little bit more. But what I'll do is, obviously I'll turn this on, and I'll hold my vice grips and my drill bit like this, and try to center that up very perfect, and start very slowly to get a little indent right there in the center. And some people say it helps to use, or start with a smaller bit, just get your starting hole, and then go up to a bigger bit. I've never really had that issue Thankfully, surprisingly, whatever, but I always just start with what I'm going with, and it seems to work so far. But either way, like I said, I'll take this and hold it here and go very slowly because that gets really hot. You do want to apply a little bit of pressure to it, though, so it goes through. Well, I shouldn't say slowly, but not really, really fast either or whatever. You do want to kind of take your time a little bit. But the more you make, the more comfortable you'll get doing it, or I did anyways, and you can go a little bit quicker with it. Like it takes, I don't know, two or three minutes to sit here and drill this out, compared to it used to take five plus minutes when I first started making these. But I want to try to rig something up to where this will hold here, and I can or not necessarily in these vice grips, but some kind of block of wood or something to hold this drill bit level with this or whatever. 
kind of like a lathe in a way almost, but not obviously. But I think that would uh, be much more convenient than doing it this way. But this does work, or it's worked for me anyways. I really want to crank this thing up, but at the same time I don't because I already know it's going to get brass dust everywhere and I have no way of really cleaning it up well at the moment. But I'll do that in the future. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how I went about doing this. And that's for that part. Let's see. Oh, hold on. And also, if you want to, like, instead of just being a plain sleeve, if you want to add any, like, serrations or a spool element or anything like that, it's also really nice with that smaller bit because it gives you a little more meat on the sleeve to work on or whatever. Like here, let's see. Yeah. This is a serrated spool I've done, and it is a sleeve as well. I wish you could see that better, but you can somewhat see it in there. I'm trying not to burn my damn eyes with that cigarette smoke either. Yeah, you can't really see it well in this, but either way, it it's just like a normal homemade spool with serrations in the ends of it. But you can do stuff like that, or, let's see here, that's another plain sleeve, I think I've got, yeah, a serrated sleeve here that actually has a nail in it from the lock I was working on, let's see if we can pick that up, yeah, but either way, if you want to add any kind of stuff like that, now would be the time to do that. up here right now. Let me grab one of those. Let's see here. I believe I have a few that I've already cut down in here when I was outside the other day. Yes, that I do. Alright, let's see here. Maybe. That I don't, huh. But either way, here are the nails I use. Like I said, I believe it's just an 18 gauge uh, standard steel nail. You can get these shorter too where you ain't got to cut off as much, but uh, I live in a small town and this is the best we've got at our uh, local Walmart or Home Depot. But I'll uh, generally take my smaller collet and put this nail in there and take a file. Hold on, let me get my files actually. I'll take this file specifically. And when I load that nail up in there, I'll take and put this on the inner side of this to try to get it smooth as possible against the head of that nail so when it does slide into the sleeve it uh, pairs up really well. If you don't do that with those uh, nails in particular they will, I don't know, it's got maybe a sixteenth of an inch, eighteenth of, or eighth of an inch whatever off from the uh, sleeve. I mean I guess it would be fine to leave it that way depending on what you're doing but for me specifically, like in this lock in general, or in particular rather, on that chamber three, I want the head of that nail to be as close to the sleeve as possible to get caught in that undercut. Let's put that back in there. Alright, 
but yeah, you can take one of these nails and size it down with anything, like metal snips or whatever, and just snip it down to size. But uh, I found it easier to do the filing first and then snip it down to size afterwards. And then I kind of take that hand file and smooth off the edge a little bit as well. And you can also take polishing sandpaper or whatever and make it really smooth if you like. I notice it uh, kind of helps sometimes depending on what uh, core you're using or whatever. Sometimes they like to uh, try to snag a little bit if you're using a cheaper one like the Schlage, for example. But if you take that uh, polishing sandpaper and, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute of some good sanding, it makes it really smooth. And yeah, I've not even done anything and already got brass dust up here. Shit. That's definitely messy. Especially if you're doing it inside like a moron like I do, but, you know. But I believe that's pretty much it as far as making the pen and pens go. It's really not that difficult at all. The most difficult part is the starting out, or starting the hole in the pen, rather. But if you can, like I said, just barely touch it to it and get an idea of where that is going, it usually straightens itself back out if you get crooked at all once you get in there a little bit but it's really not that bad especially after you do it a time or two you kind of figure out what you need to do and not do or whatever <clears throat> but I believe like I said that is about it as far as the pen and pens go I'm trying to think to make sure I'm not forgetting anything but I don't believe I am Either way, I believe that uh, should be good enough to get you, give you an idea of how I do it anyways. It's, like I said, really nothing to it. But um, also, like I was talking about, I'm going to try to rig something up as far as holding the uh, drill bit instead of using the uh, vice grips. And when I come up with something, I will uh, redo a video and show you what I've came up with. Right now I'm thinking, since I've got so many of those drill bits, I'm thinking of taking some Gorilla Glue and gluing one of them to a block of wood and then just adjusting my height to what I need to match up with the center of the uh, pen once it's in the chuck. Oh. But alright guys, like I said, I believe that's about it. If there's any questions you need answered, just ask and uh, I'll do my best to... Do just that. Alright guys, y'all have a good one.